can blame the lateness of this episode on that damn hurricane. Living in Florida, that thing had my schedule totally messed up last week. Hurricanes have a tendency to be inconsiderate that way. Freaking hate hurricanes. Hate hurricane season in general. But anyway, we're here. We got a cigar. Let's talk about some man shit. <laughs> Today we are back talking about cigars, and today's subject is probably as polarizing as putting water in whiskey, putting ice in whiskey, or hell, even what's better, scotch or bourbon, any of those type subjects that people have a strong opinion on, what they prefer, probably going to stir up some uproar in the comments. We're going to be talking about the different ways to cut a cigar. This is a Bella's Artes. Is it Bella's B A L? I don't know if that's. I assume that's Bella's Artes. In Spanish, usually two L's are Y's. Would that be Bayas Arte? There you go. So that way, even though I butchered the name, you can see what it's called. In a box press Lancero. It's an excellent cigar. And I'm drinking coffee today. No whiskey. Cheers to my brother Calvin over in the UK. I know I've posted stuff before, and he's not a drinker, so we're we're doing one with coffee today. Coffee and a cigar. It's this coffee from. This company, Oak and Bond, really excellent stuff. You guys should check them out. They actually barrel age coffee beans in whiskey barrels. They have a scotch version, they have a bourbon version, they have a rye, really pretty cool stuff. So definitely check those guys out. Not sponsored, just big fan of their stuff. So just wanted to mention them real quick. But back to the subject at hand, cutting cigars. There's a whole lot of opinions on the best way to cut a cigar. There's really three main ways to cut a cigar. You've got your punch cut, you got your V cut, you got your straight cut. Now there are other ways to cut cigars, obviously. I've seen guys use just their fingernail to get the cap off. I've seen guys bite them, I've seen guys use pocket knives. You're gonna have some people that argue and say this is better than that or that's blasphemy, you shouldn't do that. I follow the same rules with cigars though that I do with whiskey and this comes straight from our good folks over at the Whiskey Vault. If you've never checked out the Whiskey Vault, it's a great channel if you're into whiskey, definitely check that out. With whiskey, you get people saying that adding ice and stuff is blasphemy. It's your whiskey, drink it how the hell you want. Whichever way you enjoy it the most is the correct way to do it. Same with cutting cigars in my opinion. It's your cigar, cut it however the hell you want. That being said, all the methods do have some inherent pros and cons and there are some general guidelines that's probably a good idea to follow to help from tearing your cigar up in the process. For any of you new guys out there, let's just go over the different parts of a cigar. At the closed end of the cigar, you have the cap, which is basically just a little piece of the cigar leaf that is affixed to the end to kind of hold the wrapper together and seal off the cigar. Some cigars are single caps, you have double caps, and you have triple caps. That end of cigar is also referred to as the head, and at that end you also have the shoulder of the cigar. It's going to come in important later when we talk about how to cut. The middle of the cigar is called the body, and then the open end of the cigar that you light is called the foot. The basic premise behind cutting a cigar is just to remove a little bit of that cap as to allow air to flow through the cigar. If you don't cut some of it off, you're not gonna get any air through it. I know, I've done it myself. I've forgotten to cut cigars before. I know maybe some of you have done the same. Put it in your mouth, you go to light it, and nothing. Try to only remove just as little of the cap as you can to achieve the airflow that you desire. A lot of guys who haven't cut cigars before or are new in the cigar hobby have the tendency just to go in and lob off the whole end of the cigar. And if you get down past the shoulder, past all the caps, what's going to happen is your wrapper leaf is just going to come unraveled and that is going to make for a really crappy smoking experience. Now, quick tip, something I like to do, all guys may not agree with this, I like to moisten the tip of the cigar before I cut it. It's really hard to say moisten the tip uh, <laughs> without you know, my 14 year old self getting a chuckle out of that. But I like to give a cigar just a quick little, just twist in my mouth, just to get a little moisture on the end of the cigar before I go cutting it. I would only do that if you're using your cutter. If you're using somebody else's cutter, you don't have your own, don't do that because then there's saliva on there and you don't want to go gumming up somebody else's cutter with your spit, that's just nasty. But I have my own cutters, so I like to do it. What that does is safeguard against cracking the end of your cigar. If your cigars are properly humidified and you've got a nice sharp cutter, 
that shouldn't be necessary, but you never know the condition of the cigar you're smoking if you buy it from a store or if it hasn't been in your humidor long enough. So just as kind of a safeguard, I like to add a little moisture to the tip before cutting it. And that leads us right into the next tip, which is make sure your cutter is sharp. And this applies to all the different cutting methods. If you don't have a sharp blade on your cutter, it's gonna smush or you're gonna have to apply too much pressure and it's gonna crack your leaf. So whatever cutter you're using, make sure it's nice and sharp. Probably the most common, the one you'll see the most is the straight cut. Straight cuts are generally done with these guillotine style cutters. You can also be done with scissors and some other ways, but generally speaking, most of them you're gonna see are these guillotine style. One of the great things about the straight cut is you can cut basically any cigar with it. You can cut small cigars, you can cut fat cigars, you can do box press cigars, you can do figurado shaped or torpedo type. Basically any cigar, you can slap a straight cut on it and you're good to go. To perform a straight cut, pretty cut and dry, pun intended. You're gonna wanna take your cigar, you're going to place it through the cutter, line your cigar up, make sure it's 90 degrees from the cutting surface, so you're getting a good straight cut. Watch where the blades are at to make sure you're only right there below that cap, still up on the shoulder so you're not overcutting, and then you're just going to snip just removing the very top cap of the cigar to allow air to flow through it. Now, if you're straight cutting a figurado, same basic principle. It's gonna go a little different though. If you're using something like this Cuban Crafters, you're just gonna open it up, got a little hole for your tip to go through, and you're just gonna snip off just a little bit of the end, generally maybe a quarter inch or so. I've seen a lot of guys that end up cutting these torpedo-shaped cigars all the way down to here and basically making it a Parejo, which kind of defeats the purpose of smoking this type of cigar. So I would generally say less is more. With all cutting, that's a good rule of thumb to go by. You can always cut more off. You can't put it back on once you cut it. So I usually just trim a little off, take a test draw, see if it's got the draw I want, and then I nip off just a little more and a little more until I get the draw that I want, trying to leave as much of that taper as possible. There is no real shoulder on these cigars, but you do wanna be careful not to go down too far to where your cigar comes unraveled because that's gonna screw the pooch and ruin the whole experience. One other quick thing that I have seen some guys do on these type of cigars is some guys will angle cut them. So instead of going at 90 degrees like you generally do with a cigar, some guys will put it in an angle and snip it, which gives you a little more surface area because you've got an angled cut and some guys like that draw better. The main drawback of the straight cut is if you've got a normal cigar cutter like this and you're a beginner, put it way too far down and just lob off the whole end of the cigar. The good news is straight cutters come in a huge variety, some which will help resolve that issue. All are not created equal though, should be noted. These guys right here, I wouldn't even recommend using these. These are your single blade, cheap plastic, cheap steel, just shitty. These are gonna more likely just mangle your cigar more than cut them, so I probably wouldn't recommend using that. Now this style, these double bladed plastic ones, while definitely not cream of the crop, generally do a fairly decent job. As long as the blades are relatively sharp, because it's a double blade style, it generally can do a pretty decent job. And they're super light and cheap, so they're nice just to throw in your pocket or throw in your car to always have one on hand if you lose it, who really gives a crap. One of my favorite style straight cutters is this guy right here from Cuban Crafters. It's called the Perfect Cutter. And one of the reasons I like this is it really takes out the guesswork for guys that are fairly new to cigar smoking or even people that are advanced and just don't wanna think about it it too much because it's got this backstop in here which prevents you from overcutting your cigar. So you just put your cigar in there flat until it hits that backstop, you cut, and it's gonna automatically cut off the perfect amount. They're also like less than 20 bucks, so really great cutters. I've cut a ton of cigars with this thing and it's still nice and sharp. I would be remiss if we're talking about straight cutters if I didn't take just a moment to talk about this sweet little bit of awesomeness sent to me by Urban EDC Supply. This is the BMF Cigar Cutter from Red Horse Knife Works. Let's just take a moment of silence to appreciate the awesomeness of this cutter. This thing is sweet. Now, this is a high-end cigar cutter. This thing is like over 220 or 230 bucks, somewhere in that range. I can't remember the exact price. This is definitely for somebody who is more into cigars and they're looking for a little pocket jewelry, a little bling to add to their cigar repertoire. This thing is a titanium frame with an M390 blade. Uh, if you guys are into knives and you know anything about that, M390 is some really awesome high-end steel. It has ceramic bearings, it has ceramic detent, it has G10 inlays, you can also get it in carbon fiber. I mean, this thing is really next level. It is crazy, crazy sharp. It also has a, as we've talked about, most everything has these days, has a bottle opener. And you might notice by the shape of this guy that um, in an emergency, it could be used for other things. 
I don't advocate violence, but in an emergency, if you had to defend yourself, you know, really, really awesome cigar cutter. If you're big into cigars, really, really cool. Tons of different options out there for straight cutters. Straight cut is a really, really good option and a ton of guys use it. Next up, we have one that might be a little controversial. I feel like guys either love this or hate this, and that is the V-Cut. This guy here happens to be a V-Cutter from Calibri, and in my opinion, this is the only V-Cutter worth having. Don't get me wrong, some other companies out there have some nice ones, there's some pretty good ones out there from Zycar, but I've tried a bunch of them, and the V-Cut from Calibri is the only one that I like. V-Cutting your cigar is really simple. It's got a cradle kind of backstop little area your cigar goes in. You're gonna place your cigar in said cradle and push down to cut. It's one of the things that's great about the V-cut, it's kind of hard to screw up. If you push it to the backstop, push down, you're gonna V-cut it correctly. It's my preferred method for cutting box press cigars. I really like how clean of a cut it is. Uh, it leaves a little more of the end of your cigar intact. I feel like it usually gets less tobacco in your mouth. It also holds more of the end of the cigar together, so I find you, generally speaking, have less unraveling problems. And the reason I really like it for a box press is I found that some box press cigars, because they're square, a round cut doesn't always, sometimes you can kind of crack, it puts weird pressure on the sharp edges where a V-cut you can just put in there and cut right through the middle. Some guys are gonna tell you they taste differences in these different types of cuts that you're gonna get a different flavor from a straight cut than a V-cut than a punch cut because it funnels and kind of directs the smoke differently. I'm not gonna say it's bullshit. Some guys have more advanced palates than me. I don't notice any flavor difference between the, the three different types of cuts. I just use different cuts based on the size, the shape of the cigar, stuff like that for utilitarian purposes is what I think cuts the cigar best and gives me the best airflow. The one drawback to a V-cut is you have to be kind of careful if you have a shallow cap on a V-cut, sometimes this deep V can cut down too deep and then you will run into issues of your cap coming off and then your cigar coming unraveled. So generally speaking, I don't use this on smaller gauge cigars or cigars with a very shallow cap. That's just something to look out for. Now, last but certainly not least, you have your, oh shit, it's on this end. You have your punch cut. You have a punch that is basically just gonna take a little hole out of the end of your cigar. A lot of guys love this. I used to punch cut cigars quite a bit. I don't really punch cut stuff anymore, but it is a relatively easy and clean way to open up a cigar and it's great for beginners because it's kind of hard to screw up a punch cut. To do a punch cut, what you're gonna do, you're gonna just line up your punch in the center of the head of your cigar and you're gonna slowly twist the cigar and the punch and apply gentle pressure until you penetrate, <laughs> penetrate. I said, there goes that 14 year old mentality again, I swear. I'll grow up one day. But anyway, you're gonna just slowly rotate until you penetrate through the wrapper and then pull a little plug out. And what you're gonna end up with is a really nice clean hole in the end of your cigar. One of the great things about a punch cut is that it is probably the cleanest, least amount of tobacco in your mouth way to cut a cigar. Basically keeps the majority of the end of the cigar intact because you're just taking a punch out of the middle. There's not really much risk of overcutting the cigar with a punch cut. You can also kind of customize your airflow with a punch cut. You can put one punch in there. If there's not enough airflow, you can just go to the side a little bit, add one more punch, test draw. If you don't like it, punch to the side of that a little bit. Keep repeating that process until you get the draw you want. Punch cuts are really small, portable. You got little guys like this that basically go on your keychain. The other great thing is they also include punch cuts on the bottom of a lot of lighters. I don't have one at the moment that has a punch on the bottom of it, but if you're traveling or you're out and about, you don't have to pack an extra cutter. Things like this, Cigar Tool, have a punch cut integrated. This one is a Modus 2 Cigar Tool. Pretty neat little cigar tool, really. It has several different tools in it. It has a nubber on one end, so you to nub cigars if you're like me and you like to smoke them down to the bitter, bitter end. It has a draw tool. Draw tool's okay, it works. It's not as good as like the perfect draw. I actually prefer that as a draw tool, but nevertheless, it does have a draw tool. And then at the very end here, it does have a nice punch. This is a pretty handy little tool to be able to pack around with you. It's also about the size and shape of a cigar, so you can put it down in a cigar case and take it with you and you got a whole little toolbox with you at all times. And that's one of the benefits of 
a punch cut is they do integrate punches into a lot of different cigar accessories, so it's pretty easy to always have one on you. The only real downside of a punch cut is I, it does take a little longer. It's a little more, you have to fidget and you're over there twisting and it's not as satisfying to me. I like the click of like a guillotine cutter or even of a V cut. You know, these are spring loaded, which is kind of fun to fidget with. You know, these aren't near as fun. So to me, it's not as satisfying. You also can't cut all cigar types with a punch. If it's a really small cigar, like a little Lancero, you could punch it, but at that point, you're really, it's the same diameter as the end of the cigar, so you might as well just straight cut it. It's kind of difficult to punch cut a cigar like this. I have seen guys come in at an angle and do weird shit like that, but I mean, just snip the tip off. I don't really get it. Anybody who tells you one is for sure better than the other is generally blowing smoke. Man, I'm really full of the puns today, <laughs> but it's really boils down to personal preference. How the cigar feels in your mouth, how much tobacco it gets to your mouth, how much draw, different shape of cigar, different size of cigar, all these different things. My opinion is go out there, try some of these different cutting techniques on different shapes, sizes of cigars and see which one you prefer the best. I personally use V-cut and straight cut the most interchangeably depending on the type of cigar I'm smoking. All right, guys, so that wraps up another episode of Man Shit. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <clears throat> whatever day this video makes it out. <laughs> As always, I will link all the cutters and stuff we talked about today down below. So if you're interested in checking any of that stuff out, you know where to find it. Hopefully you got some good information out of this video and you enjoyed hanging out with me for a little while today. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week. Happy smokes and long ashes to all of you. We'll see you in the next video. I want to sit here and enjoy the rest of my cigar. I had to relight this thing like three times during the video because I was talking my butt off. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, not sponsored. If you like whiskey and you like coffee and cigars, it mixes them all together little happy menage a trois. Can I say that on YouTube, menage a trois?